Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to be doing a how to play and play food of Wishful Mountain. Okay, we're just going to give you a brief how to play because there's kind of a, a lot to this. It's easy to learn, but there's a lot to explain on this game and there's several really good how to play videos out there that you can watch. So we won't um, spend too much time on that. I'll just briefly go over it. So um, each person starts with a player board of the color of choice and you get the corresponding ships, which is a dreadnought, a blimp, and a hot air balloon. Um, you call them airships, actually. And you start out with one of each resource, which is water, anvil, gold, and coal. I'm the first player, so the advantage I get is you, I get to choose the first, the starting ability first. So you um, start out, you draw the number of players plus one in starting abilities. First player gets to choose, passes the remaining clockwise. That person gets to choose the next one and passes it to the, the last person. So in our case, we had four. I chose one, Anthony chose one, and he passed the remaining two to Quentin. Um, the starting abilities are are all, um, the book is really good, by the way. They're all, every card, every machine upgrade, all is uh, explained in the book with an awesome reference in alphabetical order by the name, so it's really easy to find. And then they also have all the icons that are referenced on everything on the back of the book. So it's very well written, very easy to learn. There's just a lot going on because it's a point Sally game. So that's the, that's the only thing is you have to play it a few times to really learn the then you're always like kind of um, manipulating your strategies and there's so many ways to gain points and so many ways to things you're looking out for while you're gaining points so it's there's a lot to it but it's really simple and fun at the same time so the book has all of that referenced um, my starting ability is the lead engineer so when I build a medium or a large machine I gain a face-up upgrade from the market and your upgrades, you can have six in total. Once you place them there, it's there. You don't get to exchange them or you're stuck with whatever you choose. But you get up to six during the game. And you just place them here in your player board. Um, Anthony is the Riveter. So every time he gains a scaffold during his turn, he gets one extra scaffold at the end of the turn. Um, Quentin gets to either, he's the engineer, he can either exchange any resource for a whistle or he can exchange a whistle for a resource. And the whistles are wild, so they're really handy to have because they can be used as any resource, but you can't use any resource as a whistle. Um, it's, the whistles are the only one that can be used for anything else. So I don't, Anthony and I do not start with the whistle because we were first and second player. The third player gets to start out with the whistle. Um, so the, the object of the game is to get the most victory points. You're getting victory points with these little stars when you com complete things. Um, you also count the victory points on your upgrades that are in your player board. Um, you get victory points for the number of things you have in your storage, which are your uh, scaffolds, your machines you haven't played yet, your resources, you get one victory point for each of those. You do have a limit of storage for your uh, resources. You can only have four of each one. Um, you can have as many as you want during your turn, but at the end of your turn, if you have more than four of any kind, you have to discard them. There's no limit to the number of cards or, or is, there, is it eight cards? Is this an eight card? That I'm not sure on. I need to look that up. There's no limit to the number of machines, scaffolds, um, and up. there are a limit to upgrades, but the machines and scaffolds that you have in storage, there's no upgrade. The cards you keep face down, but you always have to have the other, the other players should always know how many cards you have. For some reason, I don't, it's either eight is a limit or there's no limit. I'm getting it mixed up with a different game possibly. But um, the cards are very helpful. 
they um, offer you usually resources or allow you to move workers, allow you to get abilities. Like two of mine allow me to just draw a mystery, or not ability, sorry, upgrade. Um, so they're really cool. There is no limit to the number of cards, awards, machines, or scaffolds you may have. Okay, so there's no limit. I'm mixing that up with, we play so many games. <laughs> I'm mixing that up with a different game. I didn't think there was, so there's no limit on that stuff. The only limit you have are your resources. Okay, so basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be, you get one main action. That main action is also shown on the player board. You can either... Um, Put one of your airships in one of these docks and do that action. I'll go over those in a minute. Or you can place it on the, the board in the grid um, and you get to collect whatever resources are around, around you immediately adjacent to you. Or if you place it on a machine, you get to activate that machine and collect any resources that are immediately adjacent to your ship. Um, or you can... Forge, which is you bring all your airships back to your player board and you can build. You get one build action for free and what that means is, is you're placing a scaffold or if there's already scaffolds on the board, you're placing a machine. You have to have scaffolds in place first before you can put a machine down and you, the machines can't hang over the scaffolds. There has to be a complete section of scaffold to hold the machine based on how large they are. Um, so you're going to be, that's, you can do one action for free on the building, then you pay one water to do, you could do up to four builds per, um, forge action, and that could be like three, um, or is it three builds? Three builds and one move action, sorry. So you could do one, one build for free, then you spill one water for each additional I don't feel like I'm saying that effectively, <laughs> but so the three builds could be uh, three scaffolds or if there's already scaffolds out there, you could do um, machines, put those down. Also, one of your actions you can do is um, move a worker. It costs one gold to move the worker out of the barracks. Or you can pay two gold to get them out of the whirlpool. And at the beginning of the game, we each start with two of our workers in the whirlpool. And it costs two to get those out during a forge action, or you can dock your ship here and do it for free. That, that would be your main action. That's all you would get to do. So there's cards that allow you to move workers for free as well. And there's um, also awards. I'll go over those in a minute. The game ends when either all of the when all the workers are out of the barracks. They're either in the whirlpools or on the board and the towers, but when there's no more workers in the barracks, the game ends. Uh, you get to take one more round of turns and then it's over. So you're placing there's a lot to explain in this game. So you're explain you're placing these scaffolds and at the beginning of the game the we each place one. Um, and it has to touch the water line, at least one side. So say we've got these scaffolds down and I'm at my build stage. So the only place that I could put this business, or sorry, building or machine is here or here. It has to be on top of, completely on top of a scaffold. When you build a machine, you get the victory points that's in the upper, right, or upper part of the card. This is 10. You don't activate it um, unless you've got the ability that lets you activate it. There's other ability that lets you activate any machine you build right away. But normally, it would not activate. You have to place your ship on top of it to activate it. Um, and there's small, medium, and large machines. If there's any workers on the scaffold, when you put that machine on there, first you promote the worker over to the tower in the same row that it's located in. Then you could put the machine down. When the if you're the first person over on the tower, the first worker, you get to claim that award. Um, so you would promote all the workers that are in the location of where you're placing that machine. 
Um, you cannot place your workers on a scaffold that has a resource on it. It has to be an empty space and you cannot place it on a space with another worker. Um, of course, we'll be explaining what we're doing too as we play the game. And I'll explain the docks. This dock allows you to buy a large machine. They cost three iron and two coal. This one you can buy a medium machine. It costs three iron. These small machines cost, for the first person there, it's two iron. If that person's still on there when another one person coal. comes up, or I'm sorry, coal, the next person comes up, it costs three coal to buy the small machine. You have your abilities. This one, they cost whatever it shows on the upper part of the card. For instance, this one costs three um, anvils. And also the upgrades. Yes. Did I say upgrades? You say abilities. I'm oh, sorry. I keep calling them abilities. They're upgrades. <laughs> They're the upgrades that go in this player board. I don't know why I'm having such glitches. <laughs> um, this one costs four anvils. This is a good one. Um, it makes all your anvils wild for the rest of the game. So once you have an ability here, they're, they're a passive ability that's always active. Um, this one costs two whistles, but each turn you can trade a whistle in for a card, and those cards are very helpful. To get the cards, you either can um, have an ability, or there's um, certain machines that allow you to get cards, or you can dock here. The first card is free, the second card costs any resource, and the third card costs two resources of any type. So that's a way to get cards. Um, if you dock here, you get scaffolds. The first scaffold is free, the second one costs one whistle, and the third one costs two whistles to obtain. You, you do need to get scaffolds because you have to... Um, and that's how progress. you score points too, so... Right. You get... Um, the way to score points, once some scaffolds are laid down, and I believe, don't we have to lay one down each at the beginning of the game? We, get, we each get a scaffold. We didn't yeah. do that. Um, so we each grab one off the top. I place mine. You have to place it adjacent to the water bar. So I'm going to place mine there. Quentin's going to place his there. Oops. And Anthony's placing his there. So that's our starting scaffolds. And one. when you're normally placing them during your turn, you get victory points for each side that is touching another edge. So like if Quentin placed that one there, he would get one point because it's touching another scaffold. If he placed it like this, he would get one, two points. It's whatever edges are touching. But um, at the beginning of the game, it has to touch the water line. From then on, the only rule is it has to be touching at least one edge to another scaffold. Um, and I explained the tower. There's cards that allow you to move up on the tower. The tower is the only place that your workers are safe. So once they're on the tower, they're safe and you get whatever points is to the right of that tower level is how many points you get for that worker at the end of the game. Um, and the awards you can claim, once you claim them, they go in your storage and you can use them as a bonus action during your turn. You have the choice of using one each of a card and a bonus action if you you can use one of each but not you can do two bonus actions but only one of each one card one award you can't do two cards but um so you're trying to collect those as well and they and they have the little icons which you can reference on the back of the book that tells you what they do um the water level is going to keep rising as each time you build a building, or I keep calling them building, machine. <laughs> machine, each time you build a machine above this bridge, you're going to flood that area, the next area. Any workers that are down here go in the whirlpool. And each time you build a machine, you just keep placing the, the flood level higher and higher. Anytime you build it above the... The bridge. Yeah. Um, so... And every worker that you have in the whirlpool at the end of the game is negative five points. So you want to get those out before the end of the game. 
as well as try to get your workers over to this tower. Because again, once they're in the tower, they're, they're safe. But anytime they're in this area or in the whirlpool, anytime they're in this area in general and they're low, they have a chance of being um, flooded and put down in the whirlpool. If a machine is flooded, once this covers a machine, it's been waterlogged and you can't um, activate it any longer. Any ships that are in the area, just go back to the player's board. Um, I think that's the basics. Yep. Again, I would, um, you can watch our playthrough and of course you'll learn how to play that way. But if you want a quick how to play, there's a lot of great videos. I'll, I'll provide a link in the description mm -hmm. for the one we saw that it, the person spent a lot of time and should get a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. Better. I mean, it, it, they did, he did a great job. So I'll just provide the link and you can just reference it. Yeah, he spent a lot of time on that. He has um, little picture references of what he's speaking about. I mean, it's a great how-to video, and it's only like 20 minutes long. Yeah. It's it's not a long video. This game is quick to learn. It's just um, remembering everything while you're playing. It takes you a couple times playing through it to for it to really meld. And we're not playing with the advanced... Um, there's some cards, advanced cards, that have little star rivets on them. We're not playing with those because they suggest in your beginner games to not play with those. But that does um, add a new level and gives it more variation. Once you've played it a few times, you can add those in. So um, we will get started. So I go first. Um, I'm going to start with, I'm going to get some cards because these have been very nice to me. So <laughs> I grab one I'll card. I'll be getting the ones I got. And I'm going to spend one more resource to buy another card. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Right. Okay, and so that is my turn. I could have played a card if I wanted, but I don't... Um, you put this in between the water whistle and the coal. Okay, so he's placing his hot air balloon here, so he gets the coal, the water and the whistle resources because they're adjacent to his airship. Okay. You're and that's his turn. Nice. There's a lot you can do in this game. There's so many decisions, so many different. Right now we're kind of limited because we don't have many resources, but there's a lot you can do. I'm going to get this one. Okay. And then I'm also going to spend my one whistle to get this one. Okay. So Quentin got one scalpel for free, he spent a whistle to get a second one. So that's his turn. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to gather some resources. It's not like very many good spots. I know, there really isn't. So I think I'm going to get a scaffold. I don't have a whistle, so I'm going to grab this one here for later. And it's Anthony's turn. All right, I am going to... You put this right next to the hole in the... Yeah, right there. Okay. I get those two. So Anthony gets a coal and an anvil. Oh, wow, those, those two are really important. I think those are the most important to the whistles. Your turn, Quinn. I'm going to put these down. You have to bring your airship back to forge. Okay. There you go. So he's going to forge. So he gets three builds and he can pull a worker out. He only has two scaffolds, so he'll only be able to do two builds. It'll cost him one water. Can I build right here? No, you can't build on top of it. Yeah. You just move the airship. The airship goes back to you. Oh, does it? Yeah. The only reason I know that is because that one ability makes it to where they can't build where an airship is. The one problem is that these move a lot and it's okay. kind of hard to get so them. So he put his there, so he gets one, two, three, four victory points for placing that scaffold. Alright, do your next one. And you gotta pay one water to place that one. This one? Mm.
So he gets two victory points for that one. Okay. okay. And you are you moving a worker? Um, yeah. For one gold. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that one out of there. I'm trying not to knock all them over. Um, let's see. I'm going to put this one over here. I'm trying to get it as high as possible. Okay. So this can go back in the whirlpool. All right, so. And these are two-sided. You can flip them over so you're not limited. Um... They go two sided. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. They have the same thing on both sides, but they yes. allow you, gives you more options. Oh. Okay, so I'm forging, so I brought all my airships back. I'm going to place this right here. So I get one, two, three, four victory points. Four. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't. And I don't have anything else I can build, but I'm going to. Um, Move a worker out for one gold. Oh, you're supposed to take it from the top little guy. That's why it was so hard for you to get it out. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to put it in a place where you think someone's going to be putting a machine because you will get uh, uh, promoted. But I also, tr for me, I try to keep it on a different road than someone else. That way, if Quentin gets there first, there'll be an award for me, hopefully, to grab. This first person there gets it. My turn? Mm hmm. How long does it take right, us so a while? Three anvils and two coal. That is expensive. Can you put this between the two coals and all the waters? Okay. Anthony gets two coals and three waters. All right, and done. Your turn, so no one put it right here, but he's already took that spa. Mm -hmm. it's a good spa. Yeah, it's a balance between keeping enough resources to do things while also. Um, so do progressing and um, collecting up. I mean, you're, you're always collecting resources or abilities or cards, or not abilities, upgrades. <laughs> okay, so. Um, what? I do mine, damn. Oh, I always do mine up. They're in all the good areas. So I am going to put my hot air balloon. That's good. And I'm going to collect uh, this one. And I'm done. Okay. Put this right here. Anthony's collecting a whistle. Your turn, Quinn. Any good areas left? Mm mm. Not really. Wait, there's no resources that you can get. Can you get any resources? Yeah, you can get gold oh, wait. and water. There's some water and an anvil. Let's look down here. Oh. Resources can get kind of lame. Yeah. Oh! There's a car I get. I'm do that. And I'm going to get another one for my water. Okay. Awesome. Are you playing any of them? Let me see. Sorry. You <laughs> made me yawn. <laughs> you playing any? Um, what's this mean? Each empty well? What? Oh, you on get, your resources. You get, you get a free you, resource if you if it's empty, you get one free resource for each one. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one for early game. So I get water. Good gold. Yep. So that card gave him a resource. 
free for every and resource row that he doesn't have any of that oh, yeah. resource. Okay, so I'm going to collect water and gold. I'm going to pour it here and I'm used to buy, using my two whistles. I'm buying my first upgrade. Okay. So now I think I can use that upgrade every turn. It's a passive ability. And whatever points it's worth, he'll get at the end of the game. We'll and this doesn't count as an action. Like, I can use a whistle to get a card. But getting that counted as an action. Yeah. But to use them from here on out does not count as an action. Wait, I'm blue. I'm oh. the blue one. You oh, mine. sorry. Um, um. What does medium market mean? Because I can use two of these anvils and a whistle. Oh. They normally cost three three anvils. But that just allows you to get an additional one. It's like a free turn because that's not an action. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my two anvils. Okay. But you need three anvils. He's got a whistle. Oh. Doesn't a whistle count as anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. So really that So this is a, an action. but So here's your three that you can choose from. Let me see. And if you need to know what these mean, there's the icons. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Do I have to wait to place it? Yep. Um, yeah, on your build base. Okay. Sorry, I keep yawning. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, the, didn't that not count as action? Oh, no, right, yeah, you still have an action lamp. No, he poured it no, to get no, the card. No, didn't. That was last turn. Oh. You still have your action lamp, you're right. So, can I be on my ship spec? Mm hmm And can I build? Yep. Awesome. So, all of these are back, and then I build, and I'm going to build right here. Okay. As long as this one's so upgrade it. If you build on top of you, I'm pretty sure he it'll... poured it to get the card. He did not, Anthony. That was last turn. Okay, here. So I build them on top of me. So you you promote first. Awesome. And then the you get twelve point. victory points for putting that down, oh. and you get your reward. Okay. What's that? Is that a free one? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's awesome. So you can use that at any time as your bonus action. You can use it now, or you can hold it for later. I'm gonna use it now. So does it give me some knees? Um, it gives you a small machine. Oh, I thought it was going to be at least a medium. There's one worth five, four, and three. Okay, I'm going to use it. You want the five one where you get two gold? Yeah. Where you don't get that when you place it, but you get it. Yeah. You just land on it. Okay. It's your okay. turn now. All right. I am going to... Get another scaffold and don't have any whistles. Let's see if I want to use this. I'm going to use one of these, spin my scaffold to get two resources and you get, I'm going to get coal. I'm going to get two whistles. And a whistle. And that's my turn. Okay, so I am going to Can you port mine with all the anvils. That one? Uh no, the bigger one. That one? Yeah. There, there is one machine where it makes it where where the machine. whistles are no longer wild. So Anthony's getting three anvils and he gets a whistle. whistle. All right. Okay. Your turn, Quinn. Um, I'm going to get a card. I'm going to go here. Okay, you move your shift there. It's good. Ooh. Yeah, it's really good. I'm going to play it. It only costs one gold to get the mounts at two. Um, is that what that means? 
Is yep, rescue a worker from the whirlpool to an empty scaffold. Does it normally cost two to get them out? Two gold. No. Yep. Okay, so. And I don't even it have to go It doesn't cost there. any gold. It says that. Uh, it's, oh, is that for gold? Oh, okay. See, I'm gonna use my gold and I rescue. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm blooming. And I'm going to go here, I guess. Uh, you might want it, well. That's my highest point. Yeah. You can pay gold later to move him up further. Well, you can pay gold to move him up. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. buying another card or are you done? Um, I'll go buy another card with the water. Okay. Okay, and you can't play that one. You can only play one card per turn. Wait, it's, wait what's this do? You look at the... One of your airships. What's it called? Dish Dispatcher. Catcher. Yeah. Okay. Return one of your airships to dock on your player board. Mm, that's not much of an advantage. I don't see how that's an advantage. Why do I get all the lane cards? <laughs> Oops. Okay, so. Um, I always get the lane ones. I'm gonna dock here. And purchase okay. a small machine. Um, hmm, this is seven points. I'm gonna place it. Oh, yeah. Enter go, honey. Does he have any points? He with the bottom ones? Here. Actually, now I'm going to get uh, one of these. Actually, no, I'm gonna grab this one. That one's a lot better. Okay. Ooh. What's that? Eight points done. Oh, yeah, I had that one last time. Your turn, Quinn. I'm going to. What do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to go here. No, that one. There. And I'm going to get this one. And okay, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to move oh, my scaffold. dreadnought here on top of this machine and get three anvils. It's the one that I placed. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you flew out. I needed that now. Okay, so. Um. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm going to stay there Let's and collect stay. three anvil. Alright. Not all of them cost three For the one anvil. that's a uh, bigger one. Yeah, I'm camping. I'm protecting the upgrades. <laughs> you won't be able to build, so you're not going to get any points. It's okay. How many points do you have? Um, so far? Mm -hmm. Like uh, 13. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I need to send all them back. You're going to forge? Yeah. You'll only be able to do that one action because you don't have any gold. Yeah, no. Or water. Can I do this? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it's one, two, three. Three points. Okay. It moves easily. Yeah. Things. Okay, so I am going to. 
dot to your den, right? Yeah. I'm gonna dock here. Skin yeah. three anvils. I'm buying a medium. Oh, I didn't know about that. Machine. I forgot about that one. going to buy a lot of water so cool. this one I can't be upgrades we will get any upgrades you only get one turn don't you your turn Quinn I'm going to build this one right here okay and only on top of me not on top of you okay. so you're promoting your sale doesn't it go right here mm-hmm Oh no. And you get five points for building that one. Okay. Awesome, five points. Your turn, Amanda. Okay. Yeah. I'm I have a lot of mine. Let's keep that. Move this one here. Get three waters and two coal. Three waters? Mm hmm. And two coal. Oh wow. Okay, I am buying another upgrade. Actually, I can only get two waters. Yeah. Two like this. Dang. How do you have enough to buy so many upgrades? Yeah, how do you? I have four coals. Now I have three water, and now I'm gonna be buying this one. I'm gonna have coal wild, the iron wild, and next one water. What? Your turn, Quinn. Yeah, it's crazy, but. You're gonna have like almost all of them wild. Yeah, but he doesn't have any points. Look how many points you have. Dang, you have a lot of points. <laughs> I'm going to get, I moved here so I can okay. rescue this one. Okay. And I'm going to put it right there. Okay. Do want it? Yeah, right there. I'm going to forge. Okay, first I'm going to build this crane so that Grades me there. Get that award. And I get 10 victory points for building that. Okay. Um, that blocks me a little bit. Then I'm going to build this. So I get three points for that. Here, I'll give two back, take a five. And then I'm going to get a worker out for gold. Right. Okay. Right. There. Helping Quentin out. Oh, I need to pay my two waters for these extra fields I did. Promoted you. Thank you. Putting that there. I get seven more victory points. Are you? I see if I you have more. Okay, my turn. Uh, wait, let's see if I use a card. I'm gonna use this so I can move. I don't only move me up one. I'll wait. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm buying my last upgrade. Your last upgrade? All of yours are wild now? Yep. What? Except gold. I oh, have gold. You got gold wild? All of yours would be wild. But he has no points. We already have over 20 points. Each. He has no points? Mm -hmm. Wow. Alright, your turn, Quinn. Okay, so I'm going to go here, this one. And get free anvils. Okay. That's a lot of anvils you mm -hmm. get from that. Is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to yeah. my car. place my yeah, well, it's not very helpful. Here, so I get two gold, a victory point, a coal. And I could change a 
whistle for two scaffolds, which I'm going to do. Look at that. You put my big ship next to all the waters and the coal. Yeah, right there. Here? Yep. So I get one coal. Three water. Three waters. And you could try to whistle in for two scaffolds. Yep. Well. Oh, did I build a medium machine? I get a free upgrade. Forgot to do that. Alright. I'm gonna get this one for free. That's my ability when I do medium or large. Here, Harry Quinn. Um I kind of need to go here so and get more views. So I'm going to get this one. Well, this is the one you had when you have eight or more resources sources, sources <laughs> at the end of your turn. Get two. Yeah, points. I didn't use it. I forgot about it completely. <laughs> your turn, man. Okay, so. There's one software that I had that's really good. And I would buy it. I am it's going to move right here. Get three anvils. And a whistle, please. Okay. And I get three, or I get two victory points. Yep. Alright, I'm going to. Can you give me all my. I'm going to forge. Yes, sir. Black. Okay. Cool. okay. Going to put this right here. It costs you one water. And so, how many points is that? One, two, three, four. Four total? Mm hmm. For? Yep. Oh, yeah, you said it like that. Okay. Ended up for a reason. Finally has some points. He's on the board. <laughs> okay, and my water is wild, so I am. Oh, so wild. This is cool. Oh. Okay. 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 And can I pay for. Two gold for get another one outright? Or no, two gold to get. You can only do one worker. Oh. Okay. You could have paid two gold to get. It all the whirlpool instead of paying right. one. So I'm done. Okay. Can I do this? I get. So you, could get you could buy upgrades finally. <laughs> he doesn't have many resources. You can buy that one. Mm. Eight points at the end of the game. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one where it's not just one gold because you covered up the other gold. Yeah. Um, no, you still get it. Oh, so get two gold? You get whatever's on the machine. Yeah. Oh. I thought I only got one gold because you covered up the other mm -hmm. gold. Okay, you done? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go here and buy a medium machine. And I'm going to build for free using my award. Maybe. Yes. I don't want you guys to get that, so I'm just going to okay. build it here where it's going to get waterlogged soon. Because okay. they'll get five victory points, but I get 12 for building it and I get a free upgrade. Okay. 12. Why don't oh, you yeah. give me five? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, I heard the five. <laughs> okay, and I get a free upgrade. Oh, for every scaffold I build, I get a victory point. Every two. Hmm. Let me do this one.
and that's my turn. All right. Can you put this next to the water, all the water in the coal again? All of them are moved, kind of. So how many water is that? Three. One coal, and you could try to whistle for two scuffles. And we'll try to whistle for two scaffolds. Oh, I need to get my two victory points. That is hard to remember for having eight resources. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, I've been using, every time you use two resources, you get one victory point. So. Yeah, when I have the one where you, where you have eight resources, I forgot mm -hmm. it the whole time, except at the very end. Yeah, that, I gotta remember all this little stuff. All the upgrades. Your turn, Queen. Yeah, which, that's okay. why I make it a point each time before I pass I my turn, yeah, turn to look at all my upgrades, because you can I'm use all to, of them each turn. I'm gonna spin the gold, gold to put this one right. You can only do yeah. that when you're forging. You gotta forge, you gotta move all your stuff back. Okay, it's fine. Here. I have all mine now. Oh, thank you. I can move mine. I think I moved yours instead of mine when I was off that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm going to move this one right here, yes. Okay. Are you playing your card or anything? No, what's my card going to do? No, it doesn't right. really help me at all. Okay, I am going to. Go here, so I get five victory points and three ambles. Wow. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna forge, keep me in my uh, And I get, wait, oh. three, I get two victory points for having eight or more resources. Okay. A little blunt. Anthony does not wait for people to end their turns. He just starts going. <laughs> Amanda has a tendency to take a while. You gotta play one water. Play this that second one. And so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Good score. Yeah. And the way we score that he gets one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Okay, and I'm gonna pay uh, two He's water because they're wild. What? He's not I'm paying two water. Uh, can you move one to a little black? Yeah, there you go. That's going there. All right. I'm trying to stay away from you on purpose and I can do the upgrading. Like off my back, yeah, there they are. Come on, right there. Uh, two or three points. How many points is that? Two. Okay. You're dead? Mm hmm. You're not moving any workers out? Um, oh yeah, of gold. There you go, right there. Okay, so I'm going to forge. Okay. So I'm going to pay one water to do these two scaffolds. I get three victory points for doing two scaffolds. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. And I'm going to pay two gold to get seven victory points. Let me get those so I don't forget. Okay. I'm building those. Pay two gold to get a worker out. And I get two victory points 
for having eight more than eight resources. Put that back in the water area with the coal. Yeah, okay. You get three water, one coal, and you could try to whistle for two scaffolds if you have it. So, so pretty much, since all mine is wild, the coal, does that mean it's a, it's a whistle, it can be a whistle too? You can't, you can't make anything wild for whistles. Oh, okay, yeah. But you can make whistles wild for anything else. All right. But you can use your wilds for any other resource, just not whistles. Can you turn on? Uh, I'm going to go here. Okay. Ugh. And I spend my free anvils. And let me see. Ooh, that one is cards. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get that one. Let me see. What's it called? I'll tell you what it does. Archives. Draw three cards and keep one. Discard two. That's when you land on it. How many points do you get for placing it? Twelve. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. I haven't placed it yet. Okay, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... buy a large machine. So I'm going to go here, get a large machine. Okay. I'm going to get this one. Three anvils and two coal. Yeah, we'll buy a large machine. Can you give me the very bottom one? Actually, no, you're on there. I can't get it. <laughs> you have a lot of points. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to trade mine for the 50. I like trading mine up. You have 50 points? Yep. It's intimidating. Ah. That is pretty intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> I like them to know how many points I have. It gives them that extra little anxiety. I'm kind of scared now. Hopelessness. <laughs> you can trade yours up if you want. You have a lot of points. Mm, no. I like trading mine up. Well, plus you need to because we run out of the small ones. Okay, your turn, Queen. I'm going to. I mean, I could build this one. Let me see. Can I build that then? Mm -hmm. Nope. You just have to forge, bring your ship back. Could it be both of mine and not his? No. Um, it, you'd have to do his too, but... Mm. But you wait. would you would claim the award first, because it's whoever placed it. He won't get anything. He just gets over to the tower. You're moving two years over to the tower. Why wouldn't you do that? Because I'm actually just... I'm gonna go get this one instead. Okay. And you playing a card? Um, yeah, I'm just sending this one back. Oh. Alright. <laughs> That's like the most worthless card. It is card a ever. useless card. <laughs> it really I'm, is. I'm just using it to use it so I don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> I'm spinning a whistle so I can get two. Get those two right there. Okay, I'm going to give it my this? forge. Yeah. And so I am forging here. Oh no. Were both yours on there? Yeah. Okay. And so I get what, four points? Mm hmm. You get the awards. Yep. You can claim this one per turn. Oh no, you stole my awards. No. I know you should have done I, it. I'm a, Why wouldn't you have done it? No. I'm a, I'm a four points. You let him have it. Oh. And I'm able to move up two. So I'm claiming this. You can one. only claim one at a turn. Oh, one time? Yeah, one one each turn. I need to get more upgrades. Okay, That's so it's still my turn because that was my forge. I'm switching these for see, four or five. Four. Mm -hmm. 
hands. <laughs> now look who's switching up. Okay, and I'm going to use these two. Actually, Five. I only need one. What, what do I need to get? Gold. One gold to move out of the barracks. Uh, two gold to move out of the world. My coal is... Uh, you get to use to get ten. Is it, oh, is it wild? Yeah. You, You're using uh, this? Yeah. Oh, you built above the bridge. Yeah. Ah, they all go in the wrong way. No. And so this building or this machine is waterlogged. You keep calling them buildings. I know. We forgot. As soon as you build a machine over the bridge, you do the flooding, and all the workers that are in that level go to the whirlpool. Okay, your turn, Quinn. Um. Okay, I'm going to do this. So. All mine are already back, so I'm going to build two. So I'm going to build this one right here. I don't know. It moves so much. It's hard to do if I Where did you put one? Right here, this one. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Four points. Oh, wait, exchange. Just keep one and give me ten. Five. Five. Okay. Five. One. Two. So that's... Three, four, five. So I've changed in that for ten. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I like having the big ones. Yeah, me too. It makes Plus it look more scary. And right. it lets us know who's kind of winning too. You're definitely winning. So you need another water to build something else. You, you don't, don't have water. water. No. That's it. You're done. What? Oh, I didn't know where's the plant. That? It's water to build more each first builds free. It's on your player board. Second build costs of water, third build costs another water. Oh, well, never look at my player board besides the resources. Okay, so I am going to go. This one's waterlogged, but if I go here, I could collect three anvils and three water. I thought you have to be on them, like bomb three anvils. Just beside it. Oh. Adjacent. Well, that's really good. Mm -hmm. So you can activate any machine you're adjacent to. So you could do all three of these at once? Yeah. If you wow. do it here, a three, you're drawing up, drawing up, stuff you can. Yeah, you can activate all those machines. Wow. I did that once. Okay, and that's it for me. Okay. You're definitely winning right now. Yeah, you're catching me though. Mm-hmm. You have have You have more in the tower. Yeah. I'll feel better when I have more in the tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to spend... Actually, no. You can redeem your thing now. A different turn. Yeah. I'm going to move up one. No, you keep getting so he much. uses a ward to move up one on I the tower. So you can you can only redeem one per turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I get a gold. Uh, yeah, let's see, one gold. Okay, so gold is not wild for you. Two gold. But everything else is. Okay, and so. And you can activate that machine. I have no whatever upgrade. Whatever it is. Do you need some more yeah, I don't have a whistle. Okay. Your turn, Queen. How oh, fun I can do this thing. I've been waiting so long to do go do it right here. So it's twelve points. So I get uh when his worker here. Yeah. Ten. Then I get can you give me two? Thank you. Okay. And that's all you can do. I'm gonna be happy once I get the fifty. The big fifty one. Okay, I'm gonna forge. Okay. Okay, so. Thanks, I don't have any gold, but. Yeah. Okay, first, I'm going to. This is going to cost me two water, so I'm going to do my three builds. So, I'm going to go here. One, two, three. I'm moving your ship, ship back to the port. Four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
right? And then I had four before. I think it's eight. So I have eight points. Plus I get three. So I get 11. Wow. And then I'm building this one here. I go here. I get this. You have so many points. Wow, you have a lot of points. And I think it's got here. So I get 16 points and two resources. I'm going to get two gold for my resources, please. Actually, I should, I'm just going to give back to you, and I'm going to move one of my workers. Oh, no, we, that's the one where whistles are no longer wild. Then you can exchange whistles into two. Oh, yeah, whistles resources. are no longer wild. Yep. That's so really, that gets waterlogged. That doesn't really affect him. Everything besides gold. And I'm going to trade this in for an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Don't get the There's one. Not really any good ones. Don't get the one that I've, that I've been saving up for for a while now. I mean, to save it up, you have no, no resource. Wait, there's the one that I'm gonna get eventually. I can get a free field, or let's all just get this one. There's really not any good ones. Yes, you didn't get the one. You boost me get the one that I'm gonna get eventually. Oh, I built a medium machine. I get another one for free. I thought oh, there's a large it machine. Floods. It floods it. Isn't that a large Wait, one? There's, oh, yeah. There's two floods this show. Yeah, we got two floods. I get another free one. This one. Yes. And I get two floods. You the one there's that so been... much to remember. You almost have the so, one I've been uh... saving up for. So we're flooding because we forgot to on this one, and oh, I just no. built on that one. So we've got a lot of little guys in the whirlpool. <laughs> we need to deal with all these. So all these oh, machines no. are flooded. Okay. Wait, can I still get the free anvils there? No. Uh, no. Mm, I'm saving save up for that. All my things. No. I think I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have All right. 87 points. What? <laughs> You're almost going to have 250s. How? I'm going to... I'm building a lot. Yeah, but you got to get a lot of negative from... Me. And I've been getting upgrades for right every here. medium I build and large. I'm getting this one. Okay. Oh. You don't have any upgrades. I know. I was trying to get the anvils, but I'm trying to get this one, the r and unit, but now I can't get the free You're kind of stagnant. You've not done anything in a while. <laughs> you keep like, he's blocking me from getting the upgrade. <laughs> I can't get the anvils anymore. Everything's flooding. All my characters aren't there. I have no goal. You're trying to quit. I can't do anything. <laughs> well, collect resources. Like, yeah. go here. If you go here, you'll get a victory point, coal, gold, water. Yeah, I'm going to go here. That's what I was going to do so anyway. like, right there. So, two golds. Right? He can go there, right? Actually, he can go there and still get it all. Yeah. So, you get a gold, two golds, a coal, a victory point, and two waters. Yeah, you make coal. One, two, three, four, five. Seems to, if I get one more five, I can get my first 50. Did you get your yeah, three, two waters? Two waters. No, you Two got gold waters. and a coal. Yeah, you got everything else. Okay. Two waters. Yep. So your turn's done? Mm -hmm. Yep. So. I am going to go here and buy a medium. I know what I'm trying to do. I think she's one. Mm -hmm. With all the points he has. Okay. okay I'm gonna cash this one out. Why do you want those per turn? Please. Okay, and then I'm going to. I haven't done 
done anything for <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think he kind of got stuck. I know. I was going to do so much, but the flood happened. <laughs> and that ruined everything I wanted to do. Well, there's so much going on in this game. It's a lot to pay attention to. <laughs> It's so simple uh, keep, to learn, but it's so... Keep it on top of the It makes it bill. fun. Yeah. You can't collect those. That's waterlogged. I know. My water is wild. I'm collecting water. Oh, okay. Your turn, Quinn. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And... I always forget about that dot over there. Take one of these out and put this oh, one yeah, here. Oh, yeah, I always forget about that, too. Can I also spend two gold to get more? So we know we did my accent. Mm -hmm. I think it only did my accent. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, so. I'm gonna go here. And get a. Scaffold. Okay. And I don't have any whistles. I am going to use this. I'm doing very good right now. I'm just going to go ahead and move that one up. Okay. Okay, I am going to keep that there. I'm going to buy the middle one. That's three. Yeah, three. Anvils and two coal. And two coals. I have no upgrades right now. I know, I'm surprised. I'm trying to, but I'm not Well, your daddy keeps uh, camping there too. You know, he doesn't even need them. He can't stop me because of my upgrade or my ability. You're the one he's hurting. You're trying to. I know. on my little boy. <laughs> That's just me. <mean. laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do, I guess I'm going to go here and get a card. You, why don't you go here? Mm. You get a gold and you get to draw three cards and keep one. Yeah, here. Do you have your, I would do your three. Look. What? Go right here. Oh, yeah, you get, you get and two gold, an anvil, a whistle, and you get to draw three cards and keep one. Okay. Well, Look at all that you got in one turn. You gotta think. You gotta look at it that way. Get, try to accomplish as much in one so turn as you can. That's the goal of this key to this game. You get three cards and keep one. Collect as many cards and resources as you can yeah. in one oh. swoop. Come you on. could still you could still win this game. We're not. Nope. I'm not really that far ahead of you. The first one I see is this one. <laughs> oh, yes. so now I'm you get start. to keep one. What's remote trigger do? You? Oh, that means you can activate any machine. Even waterlogged ones? No. <sighs> Let me look, but I don't think so. I want to get my anvil. What's it called? Remote trigger? I need those sweet anvils down there. Activate any machine on the grid or in your storage. No, waterlogged ones are no longer usable. Mm. You can always reactivate that one. Get three more. Nope. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you're gonna spend your card this time? Mm-hmm, I'm gonna trigger, I'm gonna use it to activate that one again. Okay. I don't, I didn't like my choices there. They weren't very good. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get a mystery upgrade. <gasps> that one's a good one. You can't play another card this turn, but you can keep it for next time. Yes. What does that one do? Which one? Let me see. Did you look at that? It's full. It, you can't upgrade one of your workers. No, that's move a worker to an empty scaffold space. Oh, well, I don't want that anymore. I thought that it was mm -hmm. like you either upgrade or you move one up. No, you gotta look at there's three different types of those. That one you draw three, keep one. What's this one? Drawing board? Um, drawing board. I am not. I never get this card. Any number of cards to gain the same number plus one from the deck. So That's a good one. You discard that. Well, you don't have two to discard. You don't have one. You'd have to go. Well, I'm gonna get this one. But let me look at it. Okay, so you can do that next time. Eventually, I'm going to get a good card, probably. Eventually. You're All right. So, I am going to forge. 
So I need a pan, water, and it all has a gold. So one, okay. two, three, four, five. Unless you're trying to do it. And I'm going to build this. Doesn't that also help me? Yep. Awesome. So I get 12 for that, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. So I get 18, so give me two tens. You can now have two fifties. Oh yeah, cool. Oh no. <laughs> you have so many points. How? Okay, so. Waterlogged. We waterlogged, but I don't, no. I can't pull out a worker, unfortunately. So these go back to their ports and those would be down there. There's so many of them, no. There's only one worker left and it's yours. Yeah, the game ends when they're, when that worker's gone and we're going to be stuck with all these in the... I can't really do anything. In the whirlpool. No. Okay, so, um, that was the end of my turn, I think. I can't do anything else. So I'm done. I don't think okay. I can win this at all. I have no upgrades. You're not in last place, though. So. Yeah. Keep I don't even think I'm going to get 50, my first 50. Yeah, keep and you have two 50s already. Here? Yeah. <laughs> so how many water is that? Three. Three and one coal. Your turn, Quinn. <laughs> I'm going to do a unique opportunity. I draw three and I get one of them. Let me make sure that I'm reading that right. Yep. Eventually, I'm I hope going you to get, get something good. Please, something good. What's that? Oh, What's... that's where you can move them up in the tower. Ooh, secret door, yes. Give me oh. that. So you can get that award. Right now? Yeah. Move, you can, you do can it? play that card, move up, and that gets you a free. How? how? He just upgrade. played a card. You can only play one card at round. Uh, you did play a card, didn't you? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. You'll be able to do it next time. Do I not, forgot. do not flood it. <laughs> so now you get to still take your turn. You still get one more turn, if, if, even if that happens. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I don't want to get negative points because I'm already doing quite bad. So <laughs> I'm just going to go up here. Okay. So I don't get too many negative points. All right, so what do I do? What do I do? Mm -hmm. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Let's see, what would be my best option? I'm just gonna go here and collect a card, coal, an anvil, and water. Okay. I'm and I'll scared. play this and get two whistles. I'm so get scared two of whistles. Water, anvil, and coal. And then he called me. Okay. I'm scared I was going to flood when I'm doing something important. And then the game ends. Because next time it floods, the game's over because of that one. Mm -hmm. Or if you move that one. That's all I can do. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing good with zero upgrades. <laughs> At least a secret door and I can get that one. Mm-hmm. There's not been good that good of upgrades. I know. This time. Oh wait, there's still a. Okay. Oh wait, you never got the R&D unit. Here go, little man. Oh yes, secret door. Okay, so he's gonna move his guy up on the tower. He gets that. He can also redeem that right now. I'm gonna redeem it right now. Okay. This one's with nine. Oh wait, that's six. That's too many points. I'm gonna get this one. This is what I had last time. Food whistles. I just care about it for about points. You get right. eight points at the end of the game. Okay, now you get to take your turn. What are you doing? I'm taking one of these guys out so I don't okay. get negative more negative. Okay. Yeah, I've got twenty negative. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, so I'm gonna camp first so I you don't, get twenty negative. I don't negative. have any gold, so I can't do anything that. I'm gonna purposely that camp there so I can't get these ones okay. out. <laughs> so maybe I'm, I'm gonna stay where I'm at and get all those resources and a card again. So okay. I get anvil, coal, <coughs> water, 
I'm going to keep, so just give me the, just give me two of those. Give me a uh, water and coal and I'm going to. Water and coal, that's it? I, only give me one, sorry, because I'm going to trade two of them in for an upgrade. Okay. Or I need to give you one more. This is really intense. <laughs> now it's just getting me points ooh, as you can. Ooh, there's upgrade set. I guess I'll just take that one. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And I have, I, oh, get, there. I get two points for having more than eight resources. My turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm a forge. Oh, yes. Give me that. Thank you. Wait. Don't be putting something down so oh, fast. I need that one too. Oh no. Will that make it flood? Mm -mm. You have to build a building. Oh good. We don't have room to build a building. So oh good. Three. Like there's it's impossible so someone points. puts more scaffolds. Well I'm purposely not gonna go up more. Okay, so try that for five. I'm going to move here so I'm about to upgrade and I'm going to get three of my golds. I'm going to get this one and I don't care what those, it's worth six points at the end of the game. Did you, did you get anything from any of yours? Oh, uh, no, just for each. I don't know what the, what the extractor even does. Um, what does that do? I'm just trying to go for points, so maybe you have a chance. Gain one resource on any scaffold you build. Whoa. Okay. So I guess whatever's on the scaffold, you get to choose one of those resources. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'm going to spin an extra whistle to get two scaffolds. No, we're going to start building that and it's going to flood. This is very intense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping all of them on the upgrades so I don't get more upgrades. Keep it in where you can't get them out. I am being so strategic and I think I'm still out of <laughs> I, I stagnated, that's why. Yep, we did stagnate. It's easy to do in these point solid games because you get stuck on one thing. Yeah. Like it's because it's, like Anthony got stuck on the up on the upgrades, it kinda yeah. hurt him because that's yeah. all he did for like the first five. And he's like no points now. And yeah. look at all these characters in Whereas I came out of the gate yeah, building and look scaffolding. Look at the characters he has in the wool pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move this one out. So there you go. That's my turn. Just so I don't lose any points. Okay. I'm already I'm doing go not that great. Here and buy a small machine. Oh my goodness. Get that one. I need to get, I need to get more of those cards, like the secret door. My turn. My turn. I'm gonna give you more points. Is that two gold to get a character out? Out of the whirlpool, yes. Yeah. Can you give me one? I'm going to get good cards. And oh, you see, can't build anything. Game's over. No. Oh, you can build that there. Yep. No, I think I'm definitely lost. Ten points. Ten. And ah. oh, good. At least another one goes in there. Yes. No, game's over. Okay. No. no, we get to go one more round. No, no. Oh, okay. <gasps> yes, I might be able to get a really good card. Mm -hmm. That can help me. So is that the end of your turn? Um. Yeah, I can't build anything. Let's see, do you get to go again or just Quentin and I? Just Quentin and you. Okay. This is my last chance. I need, I'm going to spend all my resources on cards. So I get one card and I spend one resource to get another card. And then I spend two more resources. You realize you can only play one of them. To get, yep. I know. And your resources, well they're all worth a point. Cards and everything, so it doesn't matter. Right. You going to play any of them? Let me see. Mystery upgrade. There you go. That's my chance. Yes, mystery upgrade. Do you have a gold? What blueprints do? Looks like you get two cards. I'm still going to play mystery upgrade, I think. Gain two cards. Okay, mystery yeah. Mystery upgrade, spend one gold to gain the top face down upgrade. Oh. That's one I have. Yes. It's awesome. Yes, I yes, got yes. good ones. That would be my chance. Yes, okay. So you get a good one. Please, it's a little more flaw points. <laughs> Ooh, five. Not bad. Yes, that's better. I can I can work 
with that. And Just for my final turn. Your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna forge. Wow. Got lucky. <laughs> She's gonna take the character out. Spin in two. No, I don't can't. have any gold. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna you get as many points. Open? Maybe I have a hundred and twelve uh, points. No. Hey, give, that, <laughs> give that boy some hope. <laughs> no. Okay, so one, mm -hmm. two, three, and I think I can win. placing this one. Four, five, six, seven. Uh -huh. So I get seven. Plus three, so I get ten for placing two scaffolds. Um, this one, the strengthener, I think I get one. Let me look, I can't remember. When you build a scaffold, gain one victory point, no limit. So I get two more. Then I'm going to build this guy. Did I ever collect my points when I did that? Yeah. Yeah, you for did. sure. I did this one, the printing press. But... I mean, the the one. Yeah, this... you did. I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Even if you collect them, it doesn't matter. You can, you can collect them. I don't care. <laughs> so I guess. Well, I, I don't know if I did. Seven. I think I did, but I'm not I sure. I think you did, but I don't know. I, I think so, that he did. I, I was so concerned about moving my little character. So seven. Then we flood one more because mm -hmm. I built. Not that it matters. Yeah. Um, Wait! Each turn I can exchange a resource. No! I forgot about this completely. Oh, for a whistle? No, each resource. You can exchange one resource for a oh, whistle. And I get it. Oh no, I don't get it. I never did that once. No. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. No! I yeah, this game, you have to. What I do every turn before I finish my turn, before uh. I release my turn. I look at all my abilities and upgrades and just see, make sure I'm not missing anything. You it's, have to do that. It's so game. hard to remember if all the things going well, on. That's why you gotta look okay, every so. time. So uh, I think we're done. Now we just counter points. Uh, so I'm at negative 25 oh, good. for all my little guys in the whirlpool. So those go away. And I have two, six, so eight. 19. 19 in my upgrades. 23. I'm just going to grab these, make it easier for my upgrades. So 19 in my upgrades. Okay. So 10. Do you have a, oh, you don't. Yeah, so 19 in my upgrades. Okay, so for here, I have 4, 9, plus 18, 28. I already counted my, my whirlpool. I'm going to exchange. Right. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to exchange so these 5 for 50. You already got your whirlpools, yep. okay? Yeah, right Did you get ones for your upgrades? You both um, got ones for your upgrades, right? No, I haven't Okay, done these you have 12, 19, plus 7, 26, 36. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah, that's really six. good. Okay, 36. So you have more on the tower. Yeah, a lot more. You got close to me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, give me those and you get another 50. Ooh, we're close. Oh, I'm about to win. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, me neither, but maybe. I doubt it. Okay, so I counted my towers. I counted Quentin's towers. Did you count yours? No. Yeah, you won. Five. Well. Seven. Okay. And then we get one point for each resource we have in our store. I have three. I have three. I have three, too. <laughs> Quinn and I were pretty close. I feel like he wasn't even in it. It helped you out that I had all those in the whirlpool. So Quinn yeah. had 103. I have, oh, I got another 50. Another 50? Wow. I had a, I thought we were closer than that. I know. I got 160. Wow. 160. That's a lot. That's a lot in this game. <laughs> um, Anthony came back a little bit. He had 71. Quentin has 103. And I have a 160. Wow. So You dominated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you could see my strategy was right out, right out of the gate building scaffolds and um, 
machines, but I did have an advantage because every time I built a medium or large machine, I also got an upgrade. That helped a lot. Quinn got stuck because Anthony was blocking the upgrades. That kind of hurt Oh, him. I forgot about mine too. When you when I build. A oh, scaff you got another scaffold. Yeah. It's easy to. <laughs> you've got to look at your player boards every hand every time you go and make sure you're not missing anything. If I actually remember this every turn, I you. probably could have won. You would have done better. Yeah. And, um, Anthony would have done better if he got his extra scaffold. See, I never forgot my abilities. I check every turn. I completely forgot about this one. This and, one's a good one, too. Yeah, you gotta do a balance of things. You can't focus on one... Like, Anthony's focused too much on the upgrades. I focused a little bit of everything, but I got stuck. Yeah, it's easy in these point salad games to get kind of lost. Blindsided. Yeah. <laughs> But this is a really fun game. I would definitely, if you like point salad games, um, this is a good one. It's easy to learn. I know that it's a lot to absorb while you're playing, but your player board's really helpful, and the book is awesome. Like, really, after your first game, you've got it. And um, you, all you need to do, you saw, we just had to reference the icons occasionally and what the cards were, but it's... We really enjoy this game, and it flew by. I don't know how long we've been playing, but yeah. it yeah. flew by because you're just so focused and intense <laughs> on yeah. what you're doing next. And then you've got the flooding, the ads, and extra little... Um, Tension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is a great game. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad we, we got this one to play. I I'm, think... I'm excited to play with the advanced rules. Yeah. yeah. Next time we'll be playing with the... They have advanced cards that have little star icons on them. They have, it's in everything. It's in the uh, upgrades. It's in the uh, machines and the abilities. Like, I think it's all of it that it that has the extra stuff That's in it. It was quite a few we had to take out. So, um, definitely it has replayability because oh, of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, if you like this video, um, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We put out a lot of content and... Little Guy and Anthony are going to start playing a lot of two-player games um, when I'm not av available to play games. I have less time to do this, so um, they're going to be doing a lot of two-player games. So we'll be putting out a lot more content. And um, Anthony will put both the link for the guy that we saw that had a great how-to-play video that definitely deserves kudos because he put a lot of time into that video. Sorry, I never know their names, but... <laughs> <laughs> and then um, he'll also put the link to the game so you can check it out for yourself. This is definitely, definitely worth putting in your collection oh, if time. you like yeah. this type of game. It's so easy to learn, so fun, so... Um, Definitely competitive. If you have a competitive group you play with, you will love this game. Um, I don't. Th Do you have anything else you need to add? And mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.